Hi folks, I'm Ken Briotta with Embedded Computing Design and we are here at the RISC-V Summit 2023. This is Jason Crittner from BeagleBoard. Welcome. Thank you, Ken. Welcome to have you. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're holding in your hand there? Okay, I'm carrying two of the latest boards from BeagleBoard.org um, and they are Beagle 5 boards, right? so they're based on the RISC-V instruction set architecture, um, both of them. So this is the Beagle 5 ahead. Um, and this is the Beagle 5 Fire. So the Beagle 5 Ahead is based on essentially a mobile processor, right? Um, really good for edge computing, um, you know, low power but high performance, right? So it's got um, really high performance cores, runs at two gigahertz. It's got three issue, super scalar, out of order execution. So like lots of throughput, but you've also got things like a neural processor on here, a 3D graphics processor, a video codec, H.264, H.265 accelerators, an audio core, and CSI and DSI, and like a whole bunch of really cool high performance. So this one's based around a, a, an Alibaba TH1520 okay. um, SOC. And this one's based, the, the fire is based on a uh, microchip Polar Fire SOC FPGA. Yeah. Um, and this is really great for high IO. Okay. And low latency, right? Yeah. So we've got um, Surtees on here that, you know, each Surtees pair is capable of 12.7 gigabits per second. So you can get a lot of I.O. And we've got a high-speed 6 Ziggy connector on here um, with three of those Surtees on it. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, so you can get a whole <laughs> bunch of I.O., right? So if you want high-speed ADCs. And then you've got FPGA fabric here. It's um, 23K um, logic elements equivalent. Yep. Um, of, of FPGA fabric to kind of process that. And that's got the ability to go through to the DDR. Um, so this has got four gigabytes of DDR. This has got two gigabytes of DDR. Yep. Both have 16 gigabytes of onboard flash um, with okay. Linux running on both. So these are both 64-bit Linux RISC-V boards, right? And yeah. That's like kind of a significant thing yeah, to, absolutely. To, to get in there. But, but this one has a ton of I.O. It's also got M.2 with PCI Express. And they both have the um, BeagleBone cape headers, right? So you can use existing BeagleBone cape designs, um, integrate that for kind of your low-ish speed, right? The right. 50 megahertz -y sort of thing, yeah, so, right? Yeah, like yeah. Spy and um, maybe even parallel RGB video. Um, you've got USB on both of these um, and gigabit Ethernet on both of these. They both have gigabit Ethernet. Yeah. Um, this one has a, a Type-C connection, um, but it's only high speed, so don't get don't think it's super speed. <laughs> um, and you got USB on the M.2 as well. Yeah. Um, and the CSI connector, but the USB acts like a, a client, um, a, a peripheral at first, right? right so right. you can make it go dual role, but by acting like a client, you plug it into your computer, and out of the box, it looks like a network adapter. Oh, and it's yeah, kind of yeah. like brings a lot of the Beagle magic, which is you open up your web browser and you point it to a specific IP address, 192.168.7.2. And <laughs> you type that in, you can look it up on the website. You don't have to memorize it here. Yep, yep. But I've typed it in enough, I know, right? So you plug in, it shows up as an network adapter. You type that into your browser and you get to the different services that are running on the board. Right. Including this is running Ubuntu's uh, cockpit. Right, okay, so cool. you yeah, can yeah. directly log into that and get to a, a shell where yeah. you can do all the stuff. And that's what makes BeagleBoard so customizable and yeah. easy for folks and to easy get, get into. started out of the box, right? Yeah. It's like, it, it, you know, you, 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 to get the, the Linux that's supported by the developer community at BeagleBoard, there's always somebody that you can talk to. There's, um, I think there's something of like 500 people sitting in our Discord right now. There's lots of people in our RC channel and we have an online forum um, with a lot of experts, right? I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not usually the guy that can answer their question, <laughs> but I make myself available, and I make sure that people do get answers. Ultimately, yeah. Um, you can go to our website. You can actually find a way to schedule a meeting with me if you're not getting an answer on the form. I ask that you do post it to the form first. Yeah. But if you don't get a good answer in 24 hours, right? Go and schedule a meeting with me. And we'll make sure that you're getting an answer to your question. That's right? awesome. Nobody does that. Nobody does that. <laughs> we believe in support, right? And I don't believe I'm going to die under it because I know we make high quality products right. and, we want, and we want to stand behind them. Yeah. And there's 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 people in the community that can help. There's ways to get the answers, right? Yeah, absolutely. And we don't want anybody to fall through the cracks. Yeah. Well, Jason, with the lone exception of my experience with Beagles being that you got to be careful or they'll run off after a set, <laughs> I think that people are going to be really happy playing with either of these Beagle boards. Can they go and get them? Are they available now? They are all available in distribution now, right? Awesome. So 
um, through the major distributors, um, Avnet and the Avnet Group, um, you know, Farnell, and et cetera. Yep. Um, uh, OK, you do in the RS Components Group, right? And then Mauser and DigiKey. Perfect. Yep. And a great place to start is, of course, BeagleBoard.org. That's the place. And uh, thank you so much. Really Thanks, appreciate Ken. your time. Thank you.